class, we're going to focus on the idea that we need to pause periodically, but frequently to just breathe and appreciate the fact that we are where we are and we can breathe. Even if everything is out of our control, we have no understanding of what's going to happen next. We don't have any indication of where our future is headed. We don't understand what's happening in the next five minutes and we're not sure which resources to trust or what to think. We do have control of our ability to stop, pause, and take a deep, deep breath. In those moments where we're able to identify who we are, where we are, and know that all is still and all is well, we can find some peace and we can keep moving forward. So we're gonna to start today at the edge of our chair. Once again, you want a hard surface. You don't want something that's going to create a divot when you sit down in it. You don't want something squishy. You want something supportive so you can work your spine from the chair, or you can do this on the floor. But we're gonna start at the edge of the seat in parallel. We're gonna place our hands on our knees and I just want you to breathe. I don't care if you breathe through your nose, through your mouth. If you have some cool trick where you can breathe through your eyeballs, feel free, just breathe. Breathe. The hundred thoughts that are tumbling into your mind right now, allow them, but don't focus on them. They're there, it's okay, breathe. Yep, they're, they're still there, I know. They're bothering you. Breathe. Deep inhale in through your nose. Deep exhale out of your mouth. Everyone just breathe. Okay. I'd like you to place your hands on your abdomen. You're gonna fill your abdomen with air and I want your hands to expand forward. So we're gonna inhale through our nose, exhale through our mouth. Good, that's probably a shallower breath. We're gonna to work towards making a larger, deeper, more intense, thorough breath now. So. I'm going to be instructing you with my hands like so, and I want you to continue breathing in until you can fill no more space. So go ahead, breathe in. Push everything out. More, there's more that can come out, come on, more. In. Out. The younger children I teach, we talk about smelling the roses and blowing out the birthday candles, both two very happy, positive experiences that bring joy. What I want you to reflect on right now is in those moments you just took to take those deep breaths. We're still here. At least I pray that you are still exactly where you started and that nothing tragic has happened. So taking the time and the space to pause, reflect and breathe just for yourself will impact everyone else's positivity. So one more time, inhale through the nose, Exhale through the mouth. Okay. Now we're gonna tune into our body. Before we begin our stretching today, I want you to survey yourself. So we're gonna start at the bottom and I want you to crawl up your body and make a slight little checklist of what's happening, like what's really happening. Um, not so specific as my leg hurts. Okay, now I want you to tell me where your leg hurts. 
how much your leg hurts. What about it hurts? What kind of pain is it? And where do you think that came from? And I want you to just keep a mental checklist of these things because as you progress with working with your joints and working with your body to increase the amount of motility you have, I want you to see those changes and I want you to reflect on this worked, this didn't work so well, which one to do more of. So we're going up our legs, up our hips, into our body, out of our arms, into our hands, really checking in on our neck, checking in on our face, on our jaw, top of our body. That hurt. Does that feel great? Maybe it's fabulous. Maybe everything feels great today. We're going to inhale, exhale, belly button is going to go towards our spine. We're going to move towards the back of the chair. Just a baby curve. Coming forward, pelvis rolls towards the front of the chair. Exhale, connect the spine and roll the pelvis back. And now we're going to roll the pelvis forward. You might be climbing a little higher into your mid back. Roll it back and roll it up. Notice differences between the right and the left. Roll it back and roll it up. Roll it back a little higher now and roll it up. Maybe opening the chest here, rolling it back. Sinking, little traction with the hands on the knees, roll it up. Opening, slight arc to the back. Contract, connect, roll it back. And roll it on up. I'd like you to stay in a nice supported spine at the top. And I want us to shift from side to side. Like you've got an uncomfortable button on the back of your pants and you're trying to like renegotiate that situation so it doesn't hurt quite as much. But we're contracting our obliques and we're lifting our hips from side to side. Side to side. Side to side side to side. Now I want you to pretend there's feet underneath your bottom and I want you to take a short walk to the back of the chair and now take a short walk to the front of the chair. Side to side, one foot at a time. Pause. Take a deep breath. Let it out. Continue. Take a walk to the back of the chair. and take a walk to the front of the chair. One more time, take it back. Take it to the front. Good, nice supported spine. We're just gonna tip over to the right and reach down with our left hip, just reaching within the hip. All the way up, zipping up, and over to the other side. Reaching down with that right hip and zipping it up. Very good. We're going to lift the legs one at a time. Try not to compromise the spine in order to get that knee up. If your leg only goes that high, that's how high your leg goes today. The end. No judgment. That's just where my leg is. I'm identifying it. I'm not telling it it's bad or good. That's where that leg is. That's where that leg is. What I am figuring out is my what would be your right, my left hip is tighter than my right. I'm not judging that situation, I'm just paying attention to it. What might I do later to help unbias that situation? Okay, checking in on the spine, I'm going to lift my right and I'm gonna circle that leg around all the way from the top, the femur, big circles. Around and around we go. Let's go in the other direction. I'm hearing some lovely crunching in there. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop. Rice Krispies have joined the chat. All right, let's take a look at our other leg. Let's circle that around. I'm 
primarily using my arm to facilitate this. I'm not hiking up my leg. My hand is doing quite a bit of boob work. Let's go the other direction. Loosening up the pelvis first today. And placing the feet in parallel, sitting up nice and tall, supported spine. We're gonna rock the knees from side to side, leaving our pelvis right where it is for the most part. So we're not trying to do the twist yet. Just a little side to side action. Very good. Right from the edge of your seat, you're gonna sit up very tall. Now I want you to have the idea of sticking your tail out and hinging forward. Very good. Our head is reaching away from our bottom and then coming up. This time when we go forward, that hinging motion from our hips, I want you to pretend your pelvis is spreading. So we're moving forward and the pelvis is spreading apart, taking up more space on our seat. I hear the complaints, it's okay, it's good for our back. And then pulling up, forward, pelvis is spreading. It's as if your hips are trying to pull one another apart, right from the center. Very nice, and coming back up. Excellent, we're gonna lower our arms to the side, and I'd like you to give me a very gentle twist while leaving our pelvis cemented. So opposed to letting our knees fly one in front of the other, this is gonna be still. We're taking it a little higher, but very gentle with a twist side to side. Now we're gonna take our arms to the midline. A little bit higher and all the way up. Arms are going to come down. Take a deep breath in through our nose, out through our mouth. Okay, one more hinge forward, bottom sticking out. We are rocket man, our head is shooting away from our bottom. Very good. Now from this position, I'd like you to lift to your heels. You might feel some traction in your low back from that, or just a nice good stretch in our feet and lower. And now we're gonna lift our toes. So we're gonna feel some engagement right in the sides of our hips and rest our feet and come up. So now we're gonna lean it back, lift our toes and lift our heels. Lower them and come to the center. So we're going to try to engage our glutes and do some minimal standing from a chair without using our hands. If you are not at a place right now where you feel like you can get up safely without going forward or to the side, forward motion, stopping short of actually pushing up is perfectly beautiful. That's a great place to start and a great place to train your mind to turn those muscles we're going to use to eventually stand up. Perfect. So, we're gonna bring our arms to a nice tabletop position. We're going to hinge back, lift our toes, hinge forward, press into our heels, and that's it. Little tiny rock, that's it. Lean back, lean forward, sticking the bottom out, little rock and up. Now, we're going to discuss exactly what your back is doing at this point. The only thing I want to ensure is that when you do this, you're not straining your back because this position to get up from is murder for your lower back. We want to start with a supported spine. Our arms are out of the way. We're going to hinge back lift our toes, push into our heels, push down into our heels, and then sit back down. That's it. If we're not there and this starts to compromise and we're pulling up from this position, we're pulling on these beautiful little connective tissues in our lower back. It's not helping us. We stood up. We stand up all day. We're just working on how to make standing up feel okay. So if we're not there yet, we're not there. This motion it's a great way to start that training. Live there, be there, be very happy there. Don't push yourself further than you're capable of today. So we're gonna do that one more time. Bring the arms up, supported spine. Hinge back, lift the toes. 
Hinge forward, sticking at the bottom, push into the heels. If you'd like to stand up, stand up. Now that chair has not moved. So we're going to bend our knees right over our feet, reach back with our bottom, and sit. That was excellent. Beautiful job. Squeeze our shoulders up towards our ears. Nice deep breath here. Exhale and relax them down. Don't drop them, relax them. Inhale, bring them up. Exhale, take them down. Inhale, take them up. Really squeeze this time. Exhale, take them down. Good, we're gonna contract in the front, pull the shoulders like someone's pushing them together. And now we're going to widen them like someone's pulling them apart, pulling them towards your back, right through the middle of your spine, scapular coming together. Contract them forward. And pull them back. Excellent, we're gonna bring the hands to the shoulders. Extend the arms. Like they're on a tabletop, reach to one side, pulling down through the other hip, back to the center, reach down with that hip as you extend out over your left side, back to the center, and let's pull those arms back in, and out, and reach, and reach, and in, and replace, and out, and reach, and reach, in and replace, out, reach, reach, in and replace. Bringing our arms to the front and open. Pretty gentle movement. We're not trying to go to extremes here. We're just trying to get some range of motion, some fluidity going. Once again, check in on your body. I'm noticing my right, which would be your left side right now, it's, it's getting stuck in a couple places, which probably explains a few things for me. Not judging it, I'm not changing anything. I'm just taking some notes. Bring your arms to the front. We're going to extend the arms, leaving the spine where it is. Reach forward. Push those shoulders into the wall like you're plugging in a socket and replace your hands. Out to the front, forward, in, hands. Now this is not a spinal movement. Just from the shoulders. Out, in, up, out, reach, in, up, out, grab a piece of pottery, and this your spine will move from side to side. Side to side, side to side, side to side, side to side, side to side. And rest the arms down. Excellent. Take a nice deep breath in, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Bringing the hands back up, we're going to circle the arms. Really big, controlled, slow circles, covering the largest circle you can. So you don't want to do these little tiny circles if you're capable of large circles. We're going for the large circles right now. Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. Now we're going to reverse that circle. So we're going to reach back like somebody's pulling your elbows together, up, throwing a blanket over your head, and down to the front. If you want to incorporate your spine in a little movement here, you can do that. Back and out. Back and out. And rest. Check in on your spine. What's it doing? Sitting up tall, supporting you, I hope. Bring your hands back up. We're gonna lift both elbows like somebody's trying to pick you up off your seat. And drop your chin down towards the floor without squashing it. So you should still have some comfortable space. You're holding an apple underneath your chin. You're just stretching the back of your head up like you're being pulled up with a plunger. So you should feel that down the back of your spine, all the way through the crown of your head. And we're getting lifted up. And we're looking down. And we're getting lifted up. And we're looking down. Excellent, rest. We're going to drop our left hand 
open the fingers as wide as possible. We're gonna take a very slow ride up, but we're gonna be reaching out the entire time, all the way up until we get right where we're headed towards the ceiling. Then we're gonna start the curve with our spine, spread the fingers wider as we reach over our head as our shoulder drops down away from our ear. If you'd like, you can drop your right hand and hold the side of the chair. Even bigger circle, reach, cover that circumference as you go down. Same thing on the right side, we're gonna drop down. Largest circle possible. Fingers spread wide all the way to the ceiling, up and over our head. Begin the curve of the spine. Hold the chair if you'd like. Drop the shoulder away from the ear. Smile. Breathe. Repeat that giant reach up, over, and down. Reaching down with the left hand, up and out over the head holding the chair dropping the shoulder this time we're going to curve into our lap open that hand behind us all the way up reaching down with the right up over holding the chair reaching the fingers dropping the shoulder towards our lap opening behind us, which brings us up. We're going to drop both of our hands parallel to the front. We're going to reach out in front of us, lifting our eyes, dropping our shoulders, and then going for a nice backstroke. We're swimming. We're coming down, hinging forward. We're not throwing the body. We're still hinging. Hinge, reach, Lift, backstroke, open the fingers, reaching wide. Reach, down, up, open, behind. Chest is to the ceiling. One more time, we're reaching forward, up, hands open. And we expand. Let's reverse that circle. So we're going to reach those hands way up and back behind us. Bring them to parallel, drop the shoulders, hinge forward, and lower the arms. They open back, up. Hands come together, parallel, and down. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Hands down, inhale up. Exhale forward. Lower the hands. Shake the hands out. We're going to reach forward with our right hand. Now, for this, we're going to keep our spine from twisting until it's absolutely necessary. So I'm hinging forward, reaching just with my right hand. Nothing is twisting, nothing is happening. I'm plugging my shoulder down away from my ear. Then I have to open and twist. I'm gonna reach down with my left, forward, up, twist. So I wanna put off that twist until I absolutely have to. Down, forward, open, twist, down, forward, open, twist. Excellent, other direction. So this time we're gonna change the dynamic of what we're doing. So we're gonna reach back with our right hand. I want you to get a very heavy bowling ball and I want you to chuck it over your head like you're swimming forward. So reach back, get your ball, Chuck it over your head and coming back up. One more time each side and throw that ball. And up last time, grab the ball and throw it. And coming up, relaxing the spine. Inhale, exhale. Inhale.
I'm gonna bring the hands up. Parallel, drop the shoulders, bring the hands in. We're gonna put gentle pressure with our left hand onto our right as it moves forward. Back to the center. Over to our left. Back to the center. This time I'm gonna let my shoulders go. And back to the center and let my shoulders go. Back to the center. This time I'm gonna look where I'm going. And back to the center. And look where I'm going. And back to the center. I'm gonna pause here, I'm gonna breathe. This next part gets a little trickier. So I'm gonna twist. And I'm gonna reach my left elbow down towards my lap. So my left elbow is currently on my right thigh. And I'm looking up at the ceiling over my right arm. And I'm gonna come up, go back to the center. Twist, my right elbow is going into my left thigh, looking up over my left arm. I come up and then I'm gonna untwist, breathe. Twisting over to my right, left elbow goes to my right thigh. And if I'm comfortable here, I'm gonna lift my right hand up into the ceiling as I look at it, which is beautiful. The sun coming in through the window, it looks great. Every time you go walk in the grass later, that's still loud, keep your social distancing. <laughs> and unwind, other side, and then twist over to our left, right elbow goes into our left thigh. And if we're comfortable, we're gonna lift our left hand to the ceiling, looking up at our hand. We're going to replace our hand, sit up, and unwind back. Hands are going to go forward and open. Very deep inhale. Exhale, we're going to place the right elbow on the top. Give yourself a hug. Open. Inhale. Place your left elbow on the top. One more hug here. Open. Right elbow is going to go on the top and we're going to crawl our fingertips in towards our spine. Give ourselves a very gentle squeeze here and a little twist. Now we're going to take our elbows over to the right, our head's going to go to the left. Now I want to take your elbows to the left and our head to the right. It should feel like a wash rag going right down the center of you. Back to the center, opening the hands. We're gonna put the left elbow on the top, crawling our fingers in towards our spine. Little twist, little hug, self-love. Elbows are going over to the left, head is going over to the right. Switching, elbows to the right, head to the left. Back to the center opening, one last big inhale here. Hands are going down, we're reaching down towards the floor. Side. Side to side and reach and reach and reach and reach. Good. Bring our hands back up, holding hands with ourselves. We're going to pull the arm over to our right. Straight left arm. So we're stretching deep into the shoulder this way. Back to the center. Over to our left. Straight right arm. Now we're just going to move it from side to side, stretch, and stretch, and stretch, and stretch. Then we're going to pull our hands right towards our abdomen and push them out. Pull them in, push them out, pull them in. Taking notes of what's happening in our hands, what's happening in our wrists, what are our shoulders doing? Is anything happening? Hmm, interesting. Mental note, let it go. Let's go all the way up and down. All the way up and down. This time we're gonna stay up. We're gonna drop our to the right side, keeping everything else nice and tall. Take a moment to breathe. 
all the way up. Drop it down to the left. And up. This time we're gonna allow the spine to curve. We're gonna get a nice deep side stretch here on our left. Pushing down with our left hip into the chair. Up and down, pushing down with our right hip into the chair. Feeling a deep stretch through our obliques, through our hip, our lower back, really deep into your scapula, maybe even into your neck. Up. Let's place our hands either on the top or on the back of our head. Here, I'd like you to take your fingers and try to pull them apart like a zipper as you open your elbows and drop your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe and exhale. Inhale. Open a little wider. Very good, exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, curve forward. This is small. And open. And curve forward. And open. Curve forward. This time I'd like you to move one at a time. Your elbow towards your thigh. Left. There's no pulling on our neck. We're just going from side to side. Side to side like we're washing the back of our head. Seesaw back and forth. Come right back up to the middle. Open and inhale. Pull the arms down wide. Lift both arms up. Pull them apart wide. Both arms up. This time just the right arm. And up. And our left arm. And up and our right arm, and up, and our left arm, and up, and both arms, pulling them apart, reach, 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 bring them back up, and reach, 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 reach. This time we're gonna hold the chair, bend our elbows, we're gonna hinge back, hinge forward, pulling the elbows towards one another, reaching our head away from our bottom, holding onto the chair so we don't go anywhere, Exhale, come up, reaching forward, and come up, one last time, reaching forward, and this time, depending on what you need for your body, if you'd like to curve forward over your thighs to give yourself a little bit of traction, relax the head, relax the neck. Using our eyes and our arms, we're coming back up. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna move on to just the head. We're gonna place our hands gently on our knees. We're going to lift our eyes without crunching the back of our neck. So this is just an elevation of the eye and then an elevation of the crown of your head in the back. Once again, there's that nice apple or cupcake, depending on what you're feeling today. And lift and lower and lift and lower once more lift like you're being lifted from your chin up and lower very good bring it back to the center we're going to drop over to the right and up and left and up and right and up and left and up we're going to drop the hands here we're gonna drop that over to the right and we're gonna resist, not pull, but resist down with our left hand. And up and over to the left, resist down with our right hand. And up, we're gonna go over to our right, lift our right arm, gently placing just a light amount of weight on the top, just the weight of the hand. We're not pulling here, just holding it. Lifting that left arm up and down and up and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Finding a place in the center, we're gonna bring that arm across, and open back, and across, and open back, and across, and open back, and across. 
across and open it up. We're going to flex the hand up, press the hand down, reaching the middle finger up towards the wrist, pull the hand back, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Now we're going to twist a lovely doorknob as much as you can, but be gentle. We're deep in the shoulder here. Around and up. And allow that arm to fall. And bring the head back up. Tinglies. Okay, we're gonna drop the head over to our left. Resisting down without pulling with our right. Hand is going on top. Now our arm is going up. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Finding a spot in the center, we're reaching across to the front. Opening it to the back. To the front and to the back. To the front and to the back. To the front and to the back. Finding the spot in the center, we're flexing the hand up, pulling the middle finger up to the wrist. And flex and forward. And flex and forward. Flex and forward. Flex and forward. Twisting the doorknob gently but thoroughly, like all the way. Twist that doorknob the entire way it'll go. And twist, and twist, 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 and relaxing that down, bringing our head up. Lovely. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Very good. Now, you're going to bring our chin forward, leaving our body back. Press our chin back. We are in the turtle. And forward and back. And forward and back. And forward. If you're making faces too, it's okay. It's kind of an awkward thing to do. Find yourself in the center. We're gonna look over our right. Take a deep breath. Back to the center. Look over our left. Take a deep breath. Back to the center. Looking over our right, we're going to drop our chin down towards the floor. Lift the eyes up, back to the center. Looking over our left, drop our head down towards the floor. Lift our head up, going back to the center. Arms are swinging up. A little bit behind ourselves, they fall down and reach up behind us. We're lifting the palms up to the ceiling. All the way up. And all the way back. All the way up. And all the way back. Now we're just going to go from side to side very slowly. Find a nice arc in the back here. Supported, protected spine. And sit down. Hands are going right. Pull back just a little bit with the pelvis. Little traction created with the hands, a little pull, a little wiggle here maybe. Finding the space in between the shoulders, very gentle. Do what your body needs it to do. And rise all the way up, walking the feet apart. From here. We place our hands on the insides of our knees. We're going to push in with our knees. We're going to push back with our hands. Push, 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 push. And reverse that. So I'm going to push inward with my hands and I'm going to push outward with my knees. So opposites. Push, 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 push. Go ahead and rest. I bring my hands up and open. And now I'm just going to touch my knee and up, cross and up, cross and up, cross and up. If you were super comfortable there, we're going to go a step down. We're going to hit for our calf and up, cross and up, cross and up, cross. Once again, stay there if that's where you're comfortable. If you'd like to go for your foot, that's where we're headed next. Down and up. Down and up, down and 
Uh, hands are gonna go over our head, push them out. Hands over our head, push them out. Hands over our head, push them out. One more time, over our head, push them out. Hands are gonna go to our knees and we're shifting sideways, stretching all through our hip and our lower back on our right. Very good for you here. This is a really deep stretch into the hip. Back up to the center, and now pushing away from our left. And back up to the center, we're gonna drop our right shoulder down. And our left shoulder down. Good, let's draw some mild circles. These are circles that look like what your body needs them to look like today. They might be the smallest circles. They might be these intense, giant, big, juicy, delicious circles. Whatever your circles look like, or if you need to pause, that's fine too. Whatever your body is telling you today. Pause and breathe, pause and stretch, pause and hold. Let's go the other direction if you're staying with me. Around and up around and up, around and up. One more time. Very good. Now, we're just going to bring both hands to our elbows and we're either going to sit here. If you'd like to bring your hands together. If you'd like to use your hands to press your legs open, whichever is comfortable. I just want you to make sure you're sticking your bottom or your tail out and you're reaching away with your head. Breathe. Very good, coming up, we're gonna pull the feet back in from parallel. We're going to go up onto the toes. And lower down and up on the heels. And up on the toes. And up on the heels. Very good, we're gonna lift our right leg and make some circles with our ankle. Rice Krispie Treats, once again. Other direction. And let's switch legs around. And switch directions. Good. Wrists around and around. We're going to drop the fingers in, reach forward with the chest, heel of the hand is reaching towards the ground. And let's take our thumbprint. So we're placing our palms out and we're rolling our thumb from front to back. From front to back. Front to back. Front to back. Shake those out. Very good. We're going to extend our right leg. Readjust on your chair as necessary. We're going to pull our foot up towards our face sitting up very tall. This is a great place to check in on your spine. Roll through the foot down, flex the foot up. Roll through the foot down, flex the foot up. Down and up and down and up. We're gonna rotate that foot out, all the way in. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Lifting the arms up high, shoulders are going away from the ears. We're hinging forward. Come back up. Hinge forward. Small movement. And up. Small movement. And up. Small movement. Hold it. Pull the toes up even more towards our face. Cross our hands, place them on our supporting leg, and we're going to roll forward allowing the spine to curve. Allow that foot to go forward on rest on the floor. Using our hands and our supporting leg, we're gonna press up. Flex the foot out. Rotate that leg over to the side. It's gonna face forward and I'm gonna walk my left leg out.
Then I'm gonna place my left hand onto my right knee, reaching up, out, and over with my right over my head, dropping my shoulder, long, long line from my right hand to my right toes. Breathe. Lift up, let's reverse that shape. We're just resting our hand here, no pressure. Now, if you were comfortable where we just were, go right back there. If you'd like to take it a little bit further, we're gonna cartwheel the arms down and look up at our hands. Breathe. Opening to the back, lifting the arms up. That hand is going to encourage this leg to face this direction. So now I'm going to put my so now I'm going to put my left knee over my left foot. So I have two right angles going on. My right knee is going to be facing the ground. I'm going to place both hands on my left knee. I'm going to bow forward. Inhale and open up towards the ceiling. Bow forward, inhale and open towards the ceiling. Bow forward, this time I'm going to incorporate my right hand lifting up. Bow forward, now both my hands are going to lift up. Excellent. If I was super comfortable there, I can extend that leg out behind me. Both hands are going to go into my supported leg and I'm going to bow again forward and push up forward and push up forward inhale and incorporate my right arm forward and incorporate both arms bend the knee bend the arms open back up to the center rest forward you're doing excellently this is a great time to take a breath know that you've made it the majority of the way hopefully you're feeling great you're smiling taking some moments for yourself here breathing and we're going to sit up we're going to walk both feet in excellent let's go to our left side so we're going to extend our foot to the front flexing stretching over flexing stretching over flex and stretch flex and stretch this time when we flex we're going to open our foot to the side and in and out and in out windshield wiper in out windshield wiper in back to the center pull those toes up lifting the arms dropping the shoulders parallel hinge forward come back up small movement hinge forward supporting the spine really reaching through that heel toes are coming back reach forward really listening to what your body's telling you how it needs you to respond forward let's hold it here breathe Pull the toes back even more towards our face. Shut that heel forward. Cross the hands onto the supporting leg. Let's rest the spine forward. Curve in. And then relax the feet down. Really stretch through the front of that shin. Inhale, eyes up. Use that supporting leg. We're going to swing that left leg out to the side. Toes are facing forward. And now we're going to walk our right over. Placing my right hand and elbow on my right knee. Reaching up, out, and over with my left hand. Spread wide, reaching my fingers away from my toes and pulling my shoulder down. Deep breath here. Long, long side stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up that big circumference again, placing the hand, reversing our shape. Once again, if you were comfortable where we were, 
Fabulous, go right back to that pose. If not, we're gonna go all the way down to the ground and open this hand behind us. Very deep twist, breathe here. Very open position. Very good, we're gonna swing that left hand, encouraging that left foot to come in, facing our right. So our right knee is over our right ankle. We've got 290 degrees. We've got this knee going towards the ground. Hands are going to be crossed on my supporting leg. I'm bowing forward and pushing up. Bowing forward and pushing up. Bowing forward, incorporating my left arm. Bowing forward, incorporating both arms. Very good. If I felt very comfortable there, I'm going to extend that foot out behind me. Repeat the same exact pattern. So I'm bowing forward and pressing up. Deep stretch through the psoas, through the quadricep, down through the calf muscle. This time I'm going to incorporate my left hand. And now both hands. Inhaling all the way up, everything folds in. Back to the center, taking a moment to rest and evaluate here. Maybe lifting my heels up, feeling the floor with my feet, taking a moment to breathe, pressing my knees apart, feeling if my pelvis is more balanced. Inhale, and exhale. We're gonna bring our feet in for today. We are going to lift our right leg up and open it onto our left. If this is not a comfortable position for you, you have a couple options. You can either extend the bottom leg and place your foot lower, perhaps put a box or a pillow on the floor so you can open that knee to get at the side of the hip. If you're comfortable placing your foot high, I want you to roll the pelvis forward and sit up very supported and breathe. Flex this foot back to protect your knee and breathe. We're trying to get deep pieces of the IT band and some hip flexors, deep glute muscles. These are the things that can cause back tension to say the least, and we don't stretch them very often. Or if we do, we stretch, we sit like this. And this would be the only leg I would ever do this with. And I don't ever stretch the opposite. So we're gonna do both today. So breathing. Give yourself a little foot rub while you're here. Or just hold your feet because they're cold like mine. Very good. We're going to allow this leg to cross over. I'm going to take my left leg and I'm going to move my right to my left with that leg. And I want you to feel this deep, long stretch on the side of that right thigh. So once again, my left is moving my leg to the left. I'm feeling this tight pull here. Stretch, not pain. Pull, pull, pull. Breathe and sit up. Explore what changing your pelvis does to your stretch. And back to the center. Excellent. We're gonna bring our other leg up or down or on the pillow or box. Flexing the foot to protect the knee, sitting up through the pelvis, opening and breathing. You are probably going to find some differences between sides here. One, in my case, this one is much tighter than the other, or you might find a huge amount of flexibility on one side. Just make a mental note so you're aware of it and let it be. Stretch where you are today. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. and cross that knee over it. This time I'm taking my right and moving it to the right, feeling a long stretch on the side of my left. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe not the most comfortable position. It's okay. Inhale. Exhale. And feet go down back to the center. Sitting up very tall. 
To finish today, you have two options. You can either extend both feet forward, holding the back of the chair, reaching forward, stretching down the backs of the legs, really holding tight to the chair. Or if you're cap capable, or if you're capable and comfortable, we're gonna go ahead and stand for this. So we're pressing through our heels to stand up. You're gonna take your chair, you're going to stand in parallel behind it with soft knees. We're never going to completely flex and straighten our knees. Soft knees. We're going to hold the back of the chair. We're going to take very small steps backward until our back is flat and our head is in between our arms, sticking our bottom out. There's a huge difference between having our tail tucked and extending it out. Very good. We're going to take a few steps forward. Inhale up. Very slow. And we're going to walk it back again. Soft knees. Okay. So while we're here, I'd like you to bend one knee more than the other knee. Bend. Bend. and we'll go ahead and slowly walk it up. Inhale up and down. Inhale up and down. Inhale up and hands come in. I hope you take time to breathe today and be blessed.